Hey, I'm Mike, and this is Hot Reviews. Today on Hot Reviews, I'll be trying some hot sauces from Angry Goat Pepper Company. They're straight out of Vermont. The first sauce I'm going to try here from Angry Goat Pepper Company is called Dark Swizzle Hot Sauce. It's uh, Bermuda inspired. It says on the side here, Dark Swizzle combines citrus, rum, ginger, ghost peppers, and cloves for a flavorful and unique hot sauce. This sauce was inspired by the island of Bermuda and two of its national drinks, Rum Swizzle and the Dark and Stormy. If you have never been to Bermuda, let this sauce transport you there. Looks like for heat, they're giving it a seven out of 10. For ingredients, it has orange habanero peppers, pineapple, orange juice, lime juice, red bell peppers, Gosling's Black Seal Rum, pure cane sugar, Fuchilokia peppers, and a few other things. Oh, this one definitely smells sweet and spicy. You can really smell the habaneros and the pineapple. And you kind of get like an orange scent in the end. This sauce actually smells delicious. I just love the scent of pineapple sauces. This sauce is actually really delicious. It's a very fruity sauce, but that doesn't really take away from the heat. It's not really too much heat. It's a little bit less heat than your average habanero hot sauce, but the flavor is there. It's a really good flavor. I think this sauce would be really good on breakfast foods. I think it would be even be good on some waffles and some uh, hash browns. Probably be good in a stir fry as well. So the next sauce I have here from Angry Goat Pepper Company is called Sweaty Beaver. Pretty cool name and an awesome label. That appears to be one Sweaty Beaver. On the side here it says, Sweaty Beaver Hot Sauce is a taco style hot sauce that combines super hot peppers with smoked maple syrup and cumin. This sauce will make you sweat in all the right places and your mouth drip in anticipation. Have you tried your dose of Sweaty Beaver today? And for heat, they're giving this sauce an eight out of 10. For ingredients, it has a chili pepper blend which includes chocolate habanero, maruga scorpion, red boot jalokia, also known as ghost peppers, dried new Mexican red chili. It also has cider vinegar, water, lime juice, lemon juice, smoked Vermont maple syrup, garlic, salt, paprika, and cumin. It definitely smells like a hot taco style hot sauce. You can definitely smell the peppers in it. You can also smell the paprika and the cumin. It definitely tastes like a taco style sauce too. You can taste the spices, the freaking cumin. I'm not really getting very much heat off of this to be honest. Um, I kind of thought that the other one, the dark swizzle, was a bit hotter. It's building slightly, but still, I'm not getting as much heat from this one. It's still a delicious sauce though. Uh, you get it in a, in a taco or a wrap, on a burrito. You get it on pizza, you get it on pretty much anything, maybe some nachos. So the next sauce I have here from Angry Goat Pepper Company, it's called Purple Hippo. It's a prickly pear and scorpion sauce. On the side of the bottle here it says, our purple hippo has one of the most unique flavors there is. Prickly pear fruit has a watermelon bubblegum flavor that pairs very well with spicy peppers. We combine the prickly pear with habanero and scorpion peppers and rounded it off with strawberries to create a one-of-a-kind sauce. And on their heat scale, they're giving this sauce an eight out of 10. For ingredients, it has prickly pear cactus juice, agave nectar, habanero peppers, jalapeno peppers, red bell peppers, apple cider vinegar, strawberries, scorpion peppers, and a few other things. Definitely has a unique smell, but it smells really good. It has a really fruity scent. 
And I'm guessing that that's the prickly pear, but it just smells like something I've never really smelled before. I'm not really picking up the scent of any peppers, but yeah, it definitely, it definitely smells good and fruity. Wow, this is really an excellent sauce. At first, it's just like a really delicious fruity flavor. And then the heat comes in as a bit of an aftertaste. It does taste a little bit like a bubblegum flavor. The sauce isn't really crazy hot. It's not really that hot for me, but it just has like such a delicious flavor to it. It is pretty sweet, and that's why I think it would be pretty good for like uh, some breakfast food. This is a sauce I'd put on some ice cream as well. A lot of people think that hot sauce on ice cream is weird, but it's, uh, it is kind of weird, but it's also uh, pretty awesome too. Uh, especially if you have like a sweet hot sauce, you get kind of a, a sweet heat and then the coolness from the ice cream, it's pretty awesome. So the last hot sauce I got here from Angry Goat Pepper Company is their Black Bison Hot Sauce. Triple Berry, Ghost, and Scorpions. On the side of the bottle here, it says, Black Bison is serious sauce for a serious chili head. This sauce combines a triple berry blend with ghost peppers, scorpion peppers, and tequila, creating a fruity yet insanely hot sauce. And they're giving this one a 10 out of 10 on their heat meter. For ingredients, it has a fruit blend of red cherries, red raspberries, and blackberries, habanero peppers, water, buccalochia, aka ghost peppers, scorpion peppers, tequila, and a few other things. All right, say the sauce is insanely hot. So let's just piss it off. Get it as hot as we can. Just gotta piss it right off. Just gotta activate the heat. Oh, this one smells really good. You can definitely smell the fruit, the berries. It has like a real uh, like raspberry and blackberry smell. You can smell the peppers too, though, in this one. Uh, I imagine it's gonna be a bit hotter than the other ones there. Got a bit more heat to it. Whew. I'm feeling this one in the back of my throat. This is a really good tasting sauce too. It starts off uh, pretty fruity with a uh, berry taste, and then the heat just kind of punched me in the back of the throat there. It's still building a bit. My uh, my tongue's getting pretty hot too. I feel uh, feel tears starting in my eyes. Oh yeah, just burning right in the middle of my tongue. Whew. Not really sure what it is I'm tasting right now. It really tastes like a like a black pepper taste, like just right in the middle of my tongue with the heat. But this hot sauce uh, doesn't have any black peppers in it, so I'm not really sure what that is. But yeah, this heat isn't going away. It's still building a bit. This one's a lot hotter than I expected it to be. This one has a bit of sweetness to it in the beginning but it's not overly sweet, so I think it makes it more versatile than, uh, say, the Purple Hippo or another uh, more sweet hot sauce. Yeah, this is a real good sauce. This is a sauce that I'll uh, probably use quite a bit. The sauce would be good on like a burger or a sandwich. Well, it would definitely be good on pizza for sure. Yeah, this would be an excellent pizza sauce. It'd be good in some uh, tomato sauce as well. Yeah, this would be good on tacos, on a burrito, on a stir fry on uh, some hash browns, just anything, like breakfast foods. It recommends on the side here to try it on some ice cream. Maybe, it, it's, a, it's a bit fruity, so it might work, but uh, personally, I think I'd, I wanna try that Purple Hippo one on some ice cream. That one's gonna be really good. Yeah, this one might be a bit too hot. It might melt the ice cream. Overall, I'd have to say I'm pretty impressed with Angry Goat Pepper Company. My favorite of the bunch is definitely the Black Bison, uh, followed after that by Purple Hippo. I really like the Black Bison because it's got 
a real good combination of flavor and heat. Purple Hippo has a really great unique taste to it. It's just not hot enough for me, but I think it would be hot enough for a lot of people. And I think a lot of people that one might be their favorite one. If you want to know more about Angry Goat Pepper Company, maybe try out some of their sauces, just follow the link in the description below. Thank you for watching this episode of Hot Reviews. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you next time.